Okay, so here's the official opening. Okay, so hi guys, it's uh, it's Grease Wizard here, and this is. No, the... I don't start off with that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> hi guys, it's Grease Wizard here. It's it's the podcast episode one of Grease Bite Size and Grease. Like I'm fucked it up as well. It's the Bite Size and Grease cast podcast thing. <laughs> we are we gonna go with this? Yeah, this yeah. This is a this is a mess. Hello everyone. I'm not Bite Size. I'm Grease Wizard. That brings me to our first question. Are you me? Uh, I'm me when it make. I'm you when it makes me look better. All right, okay. Uh, when I can pass off uh, content because someone actually puts work into theirs and someone doesn't, won't name names. But uh, can you can you do the your grease grease voice? Your you, you you had to bring up the grease voice thing, didn't you? Yeah. Can you can you yeah, do just, just because we were talking about it yesterday? Yeah, a little bit. So, if anyone doesn't know what the grease voice is, uh, it's because there isn't such thing as a grease voice. Uh, there, there is someone who used to partake in my streams. Randomly commented one time that I do a grease voice. I don't have a grease voice. It's just the same voice. Yeah. And now it's become a bit. It's it's a meme. Uh, I don't have a grease voice. It's just my voice. I I, I could try and do a grease voice. Go for it. Well, I, if... I don't. I don't actually have anything. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so it's it's amazing um, that people think. W- to be honest, it doesn't help that I push this along by saying that I was you, and it really confused people. But um, I remember the day I heard your voice, and it was so weird. I was on holiday with a friend, <laughs> and um, and a friend of mine. They said I didn't know you were on this podcast thing, this huge, this live stream, and I was like. I don't- I, I've been I went on a few live streams, but it didn't sound um like one I'd been on. And it was like, no, honestly, it's you. It sounds like you. And then they, they started playing it and I was like, it, I was like, is that me? I, I it was so fucking weird. I think I was like in a weird like head uh, headspace and you were live. And then I went I, I logged into my account and I started to post in your chat like you Oh yeah, hi Grace, was it speed bite size, how you doing? <laughs> okay. I've known of the whole Grease Wizard and Bite Size bit since I believe November 2021, where on my Chris Chan video, someone left a comment asking whether I'm Bite Size. <laughs> uh, I think I think the comment is still up because I replied to it. Something across the lines of, "No, we're just both British, haha." <laughs> but it's a nice comparison to have made. Oh, that's nice of you to say about me. You didn't even know me. Oh yeah, I'm a really cute boy, and I'm really nice. I love, I love how you said no- November because people, I have like, tr- I have trigger words that uh, bother people. Number one is November, and then you also fucking t- you some for some reason take the piss out of me for saying November. November, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't say November, you go <laughs> November, and then you another, add an R in. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's an R in there, isn't there? Yeah, at the end. Yeah, yeah. Well. There's something in there somewhere. But then the other is sixth. Oh yeah, that also that's also given to me as well. Someone left that in the uh, comments of the announcement of this stupid podcast. Oh, we'll put him up there. We'll search him up. What do you say? Do you have it up? I don't have it. All. I've got no fucking plans here. I've got, all right, hold on. I've got <laughs> I've got the recording Discord, and that's it. Oh, but so by the way, people, uh, I asked um, I asked Grease Wizard to do this, and he reluctantly said yes. And then I said, look, dude. I'll do all the work. You just turn up, and he said, "Fine, that sounds okay with me." So this is what we're doing. Um, also, I think it's worth mentioning that we don't have a theme, do we? We're not doing a theme. We're going to become a football podcast, everyone. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do cryptocurrency, and we're going to talk about like uh, you know being an alpha and uh, being a you know being a Chad doing meal Put prep. Cane right here. Um, oh, speaking <laughs> speaking of that, what what beverage are you partaking in today? Uh, so I've got some, um, vodka because I'm not an alcoholic. I just, I thought it would be funny if I came in drunk, but, uh, I fucked it up. Yeah. So I'm now just drinking. So that's why you said, give me 30 minutes. Was you were like, you were, you were prepping. Yeah. I've, I've had probably like three shots worth. Oh, you were, you were, you were prepping the bull just for the, just for, especially for this. Yeah. Um, my ball is not around here. It, I've I've got no need for a ball. Not right. with anyone. <laughs> okay. So I found the guy. This is at fart seven three six one. Great username. 
Uh, he says, so excited to hear the same guy say sick in two slightly different voices for an hour. That's most definitely what's up. How do you say about what do you say about that? Yeah, I don't think any British person, British person can say sixth because we just say sixth because yeah. sixth adds like an extra syllable. So it just takes way longer. This is the Enunciate Your Words podcast with two fucking autistic people. Uh, I think I gaslit people into thinking I was an English teacher before. Oh, really? I can't remember. I know I definitely did it with a gynecologist. I said I was a gynecologist. <laughs> <laughs> and I convinced someone that I was a gynecologist. You know, well, you should have been a, a woman ecologist, you know. To get it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to leave it silent, but you kept speaking. <laughs> um another another word speaking of words that we get wrong <laughs> is a uh, little italy i can't say it little italy i can't i can't do it little italy pe- li- people li- they take the piss out of me every single time they know it's they know it's a trigger for me i say little italy li- mm. go li- <laughs> no go away cool taste no more no cool taste in there <laughs> i know we're talking about doing we're doing cool taste as vocal covers. Um, <laughs> yeah, we were we were talking to each other before we started, fucking hours ago. Um, <laughs> someone else was in the VC as well, and he, he he was like a fucking parent with with just like two kids fucking around because he it was he was so he, he just seemed fed up. He was just playing a game and he was yeah. just listening to us go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, me, me. And, then, uh, and then we also do Markiplier as a pedophile as well. You did that. I didn't do it's that. Like, oh, it's me. It's, it's Markiplier. God, if Markiplier is <laughs> listening, you're, I'm your biggest fan. Oh, I got, Wink. I got, I got, I got a, a dick pics for sixteen year olds. It's Markiplier here. He never said that. He did say that. So uh, anyway, uh, I have um, a nickname for you. That a friend, a friend of mine came up with. Shout out to shout out to my boy Barack. He Obama. said, uh, "No, the different, different Barack. A, a, it's a Barack Obama. Um, Osama, Osama Barack Obama, Blama. <laughs> Osama Barack Obama. Yeah, that's his nice name. One. Full name. <laughs> uh, and he said, you should be called Grease the Beast Wizard. You like that? <laughs> I, 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 I don't." I I will take I will take that into consideration. Thank you for your correspondence. <laughs> oh, speaking speaking of which, I need to bring up the email because I asked people if they wanted to email in questions, and I don't think anyone did. So let me just get that up. So if you would like to, email... hey, hey, whoa, 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 we we've got to look like we're we're fucking we got loads of people interested in this. We can't okay. go flat out. Like, right. Oh, no one sent it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna got at least pull up the illusion. I'm gonna put in a pic, like a screenshot of the the Gmail with nothing in it. <laughs> uh, so if you want, if you want to ask us a question, it's uh, it's bitesizegrease at gmail dot com. So if you if you have a question for Greece and his his weird autistic um, session with Family Guy, just email it in. If you want to send us, if if you want to send us fan fiction or like fan art, um, maybe if people want to draw. Um, what they think me and Greece look like, but draw me with a bigger penis, and then Greece with a little party sausage. They can do that. Um, like cocktail sausage, dude. Yeah, um, a little party sausage, a little cocktail sausage. Same thing, really. Um, it is the same thing, but you gotta be correct. This is the what? Annunciation podcast. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, and but Annunciation, it, even though it is just about words, we also gotta get the words correct. Yeah, that's true. And then another thing was that. I don't want anyone to draw us fucking though. So if you draw us fucking, you will be banned from uh, chats, the emails. Yeah. Uh, you won't. Be, you will, we will lock the the podcast behind a paywall, uh, yeah. strictly just against you. Uh, do not make pictures of us fucking. Do not do it. Don't do that. Yeah. I, I agree. I I'm think... drawing a land a, 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 a oh, line God. in the sand. Don't oh. do it. Oh, you fucked that up. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, so to conclude. People like someone fucking Greece, fine, but not us fucking. That's fine, okay? We're good on that. We are straight. So Markiplier topping you, Greece Wizard, is fine, but that's okay. I'd be happy with that. All right, then. Eh, sounds nice. You you could be oh, featured Peter on Griffin. his own. You you be fu- yeah. <laughs> you as Peter Griffin getting fucked by Markiplier. 
<laughs> yeah, sure. Some, oh, oh, someone, fuck? please oh, waste Peter. time out of your day. Peter. During me, someone you've never seen as Peter Griffin <laughs> getting fucked by a guy who plays Five Nights at Freddy's. Thank you. Greece is pissing right now. Oh, shit. Is that coming through? Yeah. <laughs> My audio is going to be complete. By the way, yeah, I know Bitesize mentioned it earlier. I think he's taking it a lot more professionally than I am. Yeah, a little bit. I'm basically, um, Jeez. just I'm just having a few drinks. That's fair. Uh, this is this is going to crash and burn, and I'm 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 chilling. Oh, that's too much vodka. <laughs> I literally, I I can't even remember the last time I drank. I think I dra- drank a Bud Light because I was watching. Uh, Josh, King Cobra JFS, drink a Bud Light, and then I went out and weirdly bought like a four pack of Bud Light, and I've still got a one bottle left that's been in my fridge for like four weeks. I was gonna, I, I'm just gonna mention that I was gonna mention Cobes there, but I thought, oh, better get away from it. Yeah, because I, I, I didn't, I didn't draw first blood. Yeah, all right. So it was, it was the, it was the King Cobra JFS person who mentioned King Cobra JFS, not me. Yeah, exactly. Like, exp- like this is just like your uh, your lolcow updates. You just completely just steal my work and and t- and. Uh... Uh, I did not steal your work, Mister. I pretended to be you and said I already made the video. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's, that's fair. different. That's fair enough. <laughs> I like that. So, um, I I have a I have a question for you. There's a rumor going around about you. Yeah. And I want you set. Is... I want I want you to set this record straight. Okay, I'm very straight, so I can do that. Okay. No, so... no, no, shit. That makes me sound like I'm gay. I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's the question. I heard a rumor about you, uh, Greece, uh-huh. that you used to buy hot dogs, right, from the shop, the big ones. You know, like the American section, Tesco. Yeah. And then you can get the big fat sausages. I heard that you microwave them and stick them up your ass. Is this true? Uh. No, but I, I will go on a little bit of a tangent about how much I hate hot dogs. Okay, uh, I think it. hot dogs are obsolete in a burger world because why the fuck would you have a hot dog when burgers are a thing? They've got a they've got such a bad ratio of of meat to bun. Mm. Uh, the so, you, the condiments are worse, and it's obviously harder to like get extra things in them because it's you know it's uh, I just hate hot dogs. They're just shit. I I really 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 hate hot dogs. Yeah. I, th- there's no need for them. They're so pointless. If anyone can give me a good argument for hot dogs, fuck you. Yeah, email that in at bitesizegrease at gmail dot com. It's also they're also phallic looking as well. So it's you you don't you don't look like a badass, do you, when you're eating a sausage? You like gripping <laughs> it. It's very it's a very uh, sensual moment, like gripping oh, a hot dog and just like oh, staring fucking... staring down the barrel of a. <laughs> Of a nice I'm, little big hot dog. I'm full gripping a fucking hot dog with all of my might. Yeah, exactly. You can do that with a burger. You can't do it with a hot dog, can you? You just fucking cut the. Hot... I just hate hot dogs. <laughs> I've, you... I've dismantled bite sizes bit and and got mad now. Okay. Uh, you you did have some burgers yesterday, didn't you? Did, can you tell people about your experience eating some some burgers yesterday? Oh yeah, people are gonna love hearing about this. So um, I. I had some burgers from a, a nice place, uh, but uh, after I ate them, uh, for some reason I became uh, extremely uh, gassy from my mouth. Uh, and later on that night, right before I went to bed, the the burping still happened. This was like five hours apart, by the way. Uh, and then I just burped up like a, a an inch piece of fucking burger. And no bile or anything. It was just like a a normal fucking piece of burger. Like I I just put it in my mouth. Uh, uh, that that was that was pretty gross. Did you like? Uh, put, did you like put it back in your mouth and eat it? No, I just started chewing it again. <laughs> my, my body kept it warm. Like in SpongeBob, like that um the burger episode. And he's like, that was so good. I want to eat it again. And he like spits it out and puts it back in his mouth. Have you seen that? <laughs> no, I don't watch Spongebob. Okay, okay. That's fair, isn't it? I only watched Family Guy. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that. Oh, fucking hell. I had a really funny segue into this. So, like, on the scale of one to forgetting your PIN number, how old is this to go? Yeah. Oh, fuck off with the PIN number thing. Everyone's forgot the PIN number at least once. I was going on fucking two hours of sleep and I needed some milk. Fuck you. 
Yeah, so anyway, so I'm Gre- extremely autistic. <laughs> so it's Greece got his pin number one, two, three, four when he went. When he went. When he no, went. No, my pin when... number's three, five, six, one. Get it right. Okay. Us. So he on his on nah, his way to spa to buy it now. <laughs> To milk. Was it semi skimmed or is it full fat? Semi skimmed. <laughs> yeah. I'm not fat. Yeah, fucking hell. I hate milk. I absolutely cut. Whenever I make cereal, which is like a re- on a rare occasion, I fucking throw away the milk. I fucking can't stand it. Horrible. What, even when you got like honey, not cornflakes? Oh, the yeah. Honey... That, yeah, that does turn the milk in nice, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good point. I didn't think about that. Oh, do you know what is bad with. Milk. What? Crave. You can't drink the milk after having Crave because all the dust particles of the, the Crave has got a weird taste thing. Oh, it's, it, it's it, it, cinnamon, it, isn't it? Crave? No. Yeah. It's a, a wheaty thing with chocolate inside, but oh. it's like got, it's grainy, so it, it dissolves in the milk and it just kind of coagulates at the bottom. So when mm. you you drink it, you're just getting all that just fucking right at the back of your throat. It's so gross. Yeah, that that's kind of what put me off cinnamon, like cinnamon cereal or cinnamon gen cinnamon cinnamon fucking cinnamon. So cinnamon. I had a bowl of cinnamon cereal for the first time when I was a kid, and I like brought the the spoon to my mouth and I inhaled all of the cinnamon, and it just put me off for, forever. I, don't, I hate cinnamon. So sorry you for did this. the cinnamon challenge, dude. Yeah, I did the cinnamon challenge. I did the cinnamon you challenge. Broke new it, ground. Yeah, before it was before it was popular and a, uh, a little stunt on the internet. I, it was me. Did it first. You're a trailblazer. What yeah, can you exactly. say? Exactly. Pe- people want to be me, and girls want to see me. Okay, bud. So, uh, how how autistic do you think you are? Oh, I said uh, already. I'm I'm way off the charts. Yeah. I um. Recently, I've been compared to Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. Oh, th- this is this is only off looks wise. Oh shit! I went I went to the pub the other week. <laughs> I love how you just segue into that. Okay, keep going. There was this woman at the pub, and she was hanging out with my friends. And my friends warned me, like she's really annoying and she's like autistic as shit. And like it, as, like after a minute of talking to me, she was like. Yeah, I can definitely tell you're autistic. <laughs> and I just went, all right, cheers. Yeah, she was completely right. I mean, I'm not disagreeing with her. I'm just, it's a bit quick. Uh, yeah. Kind of similar to the autism thing. I also got described as looking like a, an IT nerd mm. uh, that, the other day. Oh, uh, nice. So. So, like, it, I mean, it all adds up, like Family Guy, um, Lego... No one's going to understand the Lego thing. Yeah, oh, fuck out. Because nobody watches my shit. You should yeah, stream. so like, so Greece loves to live stream, but what I love about it is that you have a channel dedicated to covering lol cows, and when people tune in, it's you playing Lego. <laughs> Look, it's not, it's not just because I like Lego. I do, I think the Lego games are pretty good, but my, I, I do everything on a shitty little laptop that I got years ago for like 500 quid. So it was never top of the line. It's never anything magical. It's it's a wonder I can do so much with it. But mm-hmm. um, I I cannot really stream anything. And as a result, uh, Lego games have pretty, bit, pretty much been my only avenue of game streaming. Nice. I like that. I streamed Zelda Breath of the Wild like twice. And it was so weird to do like a gaming stream but um i I do on my members stream by the way so um shout out shout out to my little selfless plug but if you want to see me like do voiceovers for my upcoming videos or watch me play zelda you can you can be a member which people won't do i'm gonna do the opposite of a shameless plug and tell tell you that if you've become a member of my channel mm. uh don't because it's it's just for emojis when i'm streaming yeah. it's it's like a quid or something but yeah. it's it's so pointless because the members who are members never use the emojis function anyway so and i'm I'm not even streaming at the moment so if, if you've become a member you you're doing literally nothing <laughs> I don't get any benefit from it. You don't get any benefit from it. You've basically just gone to like, uh, is it a wishing well? And you throw in like a quid. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I do um I do like the members uh function of YouTube. I, I like how it's there, but I don't know for us. I, I, there's something weird about for me doing videos about you know Josh. Um, I couldn't imagine you know like pay gating or like members gating a a edit of a video that josh made so fucking weird to me yeah i i I wouldn't want to fucking cut anything off Uh, the the only reason i've been so annoyed with my recent videos especially the los anchos one is that people can't watch it you have to be logged in to watch it which is a pain Mm. in the ass uh as long as people can watch my stuff that's what i'm happy with yeah and when you do risque topics like los anchos that becomes mm. very, very difficult. Yeah, fucking hell. I love Los Anchos. Um I remember I remember showing you him a couple of months ago and you were just I was asking Oh, it you, was it was way past a month ago. It was like oh, a year it, ago now. Yeah, dude. yeah, it was like a year ago. I was showing you him and you were just like, I'm not doing a video about him. I'm not doing it. <laughs> um, because basically I didn't know Bite Size had archived the all the videos. I should give a a, a public thank you to Bite Size because oh, I didn't I didn't do it in my video because I didn't know if he wanted it I didn't, I, I couldn't be asked <laughs> to ask him <laughs> yeah. but that Classic. video could not that video could not have been possible without Bite Size uh-huh. but Thanks, when he first showed me Lil Sanchez all we had was his channel with like four videos on it mm. and it was him with the uh, drinking video which is like the best Lil Sanchez video and then it was just him like running about. I was like, yeah, I obviously can't make a fucking video about this. Mm. Just to preface, he's done like 250 videos in total. About 94% are useless. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Because like, I, I do like the, the music videos that he's made. Yeah, those, those are really good. I couldn't show them in my video because well, he, he, he's, he's not got the best language, which would have age-restricted it if it wasn't oh, yeah. already age-restricted. And also, I can't just put a song in because it's boring. Yeah, yeah. I do. I do so the same. thing. If you thing. haven't watched them, go watch them. I haven't actually. I don't. I don't check in regularly because I've got a lot to do. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. But uh... I, I'm. I I've slowed down recently, but before I was constantly on other projects. And mm. honestly, I've I've kind of just got a lot of real life stuff to do, so I've slowed Aww. down and stuff. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fine. You you may have noticed my lack of input. Yeah. Uh, if anyone watches my channel from this podcast, yeah, I've kind of I've kind of done the same. I think I've I've said this loads of times, but people are like, oh, why don't you like edit Josh's videos anymore, like regular videos, and like there's really just been nothing. I mean, you've you've watched my like monthly recap, so yeah, and th- those are very interesting because uh, Pete, I think people know that I I don't watch Cobes. I would do it often before, but since I guess probably August 2022, I just I really fell off. Mm. I, there's not really been anything since then. Um, yeah, when he when he got Other arrested, than, you know the the pet and the arrest. Yeah, well, yeah, he got arrested, and people kind of tuned in for that because they thought something was going to change. And then when people thought no, when people saw nothing was changing, then they kind of quit but then he got the he got puff and then that changed like his his bearded dragon and then it just changed um to that but uh no he's really not been posting that much he's not very very interesting and this is this is kind of why i wanted to do this with you because all my content is about josh and i I fucking need something else to do i'm not not going i'm not going anywhere i just need a uh, fuck me like doing the monthly recaps is like enough for me um oh just like Fuck me! I need a I need a break from it. You know. Um, yeah, you, you've you've kind of it's a good place to be in some ways, but you you've you've got yourself limited. Yeah, which has its it obviously has its upsides and downsides. It is what it is. Tubes. Yeah, yeah. And that's enough, Josh. Talk now. Fuck him. Uh, well, I can do a, a really autistic segue and talk about my favorite thing ever. Uh, we 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 mentioned Puff. Yeah, uh, but some people often call him Puff Puff for some reason. Right. Uh, but the thing about something called Puff Puff is that it is the uh, lead singer of my favorite band, your favorite Marsh. Oh God! Can you can you explain <laughs> who your favorite Martian is for people who don't know? So, 
If anyone remembers who Ray William Johnson is, the previous most subscribed channel on YouTube. What's up, Forum? <laughs> <laughs> What's happened, Forum? <laughs> he he made a band back in like 2010. Um, <laughs> it was basically gorillas, but it's just like him. I don't know why. He's not like he's not a bad singer, but he's not good. Yeah. He doesn't. He's always tried to do music stuff. He did. Um, when your mom that yeah, one i love that song the infamous one that's right yours pick it up your walmart <laughs> go eat what you wall about pick it up your drawers but it was, it was like yeah. it was, it's not a good song is it it's just a funny song yeah so but he decided to do a whole internet youtube band uh Ugh. which continued for about a year and then it got shut down because he lost the license into it or something oh sweet but uh, as some of you guys may know from one of my videos, uh, he came back recently in like last year and now they're uploading songs again and they've got worse. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite things to do is uh, there's a, a function in Discord uh, with the watch together and I will put your favorite Martian songs on and it's everyone's least favorite thing. Everyone hates <laughs> your favorite Martian and... <laughs> I don't understand it. I think it's so <laughs> shittily funny. Is that the Oreo review show? I just can't. I I fucking can't do. It. Is if anyone hasn't seen this guy, you no oh one's my... seen the Oreo oh, review show. It's the Oreo review show. It's I'll just put it... some German guy's schizo stuff that he he's he's found I'll... and he puts on for us. I'll put um I'll put his face up so people can see it if they're watching the YouTube video. But like he has the most punchable phase i can't he he legitimately has like the archetypal like soy face it it's crazy <laughs> but th th this is also a type of content i can just always watch i i really i i watch a lot of aria review show <laughs> uh, i think we've watched all the videos now yeah i think but we have yeah sadly he's he's quit because he kept getting make, made fun of um <laughs> We've we've moved on to flower gothic now. <laughs> oh no, not flower gothic. I yeah. I go, going on to things I hate uh, is flower gothic. She is she is actually insane. Uh, also, just to preface, all the people we've mentioned don't be autistic and like go and attack <laughs> them. But anyway, th this woman is she sounds like Chris Chan as a woman. Oh. Um. So she will like, a little go... bit, a little bit controversial <laughs> coming with that, Jesus. <laughs> That's right, I can blame him the alcohol. But anyway, she'll have he's, he's drunk, by the way, guys. So give him some leeway. She'll have like random um, changes in pitch, which is something like only Chris Chan does. Uh, me and this German guy also looked into her quite a bit. She has some of the worst haircuts on the internet. And she also <laughs> thought she was a Martian princess for a while. She is, though. She is legitimately mentally ill. Uh, she is bad at what she does. Oh, she she also worked for Quinton Reviews. There was a whole big um, drama about it. I think in my video for Quinton Reviews, I kind of skimmed over it. And it was only until like months after I was like, Wait a minute. <laughs> I know that girl. And it, it all came around. It was really magical. But she is she is fucking annoying. Mm. Uh she also has an OnlyFans. Oh uh, sweet. If anyone's interested. Yeah, what's her OnlyFans? Give it a plug. I don't actually know what it is. I've yeah, never looked do. at it. You I think fucking it's lie. it's probably just onlyfans.com slash flower gothic. Yeah, so Make sure you, if you subscribe to our OnlyFans, make sure you give Greece a shout out. Give me and Greece a shout out. And uh, that'd be nice. That um, would be awful. Speaking of things that you hate, I have a list of things you hate here. So, yep. number one, um, you hate the film The Lobster starring Colin Farrell. Why? It, because it is legitimately the worst film <laughs> I have. I think it, it is, that is possible to make. Because you know, there's there's bad films at least that like you'll get some comedic relief from. That is not present in the Lobster. It is acted poorly because that's how they decided to to film it. I understand that it's an artistic choice, but that can still be a bad thing. Uh, 
it's it's shot very plainly. There's no interesting shots. Uh, the music is the same throughout the whole movie. The the plot is so shit. I I can't even go into terms about how how shit it is. With to to, I would have to do a whole video about why <laughs> the plot is so shit. It it it's basically the whole movie is just made by people who. I'll say redditors because it's people who think they're they're smarter than everyone else. So like they they go like I I I just I hate people who think they're just above people because for for no reason. It it tries to be so smart when it's it's obviously not. It's just a crock of shit. There is no good part about that film except that it has a high a, a good collection of actors although it completely wastes that talent it's got oscar winners in olivia coleman and oh boy is it not utilized <laughs> i'm stuck <laughs> now if so, anyone likes a lobster honestly fuck you you're an yeah. idiot all right fuck it up jesus yeah what, what <laughs> if they what if they like the lobster and they're a member of your channel i don't care <laughs> I literally said earlier that I don't become a member. Okay, okay. This is this. I have a list of things that he really doesn't like, but it's what's great is that he he hates it so bad that you'll you'll give a nice little uh, movie review like that. Um, something. Uh, speaking of movies, um, so, something that you don't do is watch them. Uh, That's so true. you Greece doesn't watch films. So films, movies. It uh, depends how you want to. How you want to say it, you American fucks? But um, you've never seen Lord of the Rings, no. Um, okay. I I honestly think it's one of my better normie features. Okay. Uh, because I think there's like a a tier of um nerdiness, and I'm on. I like Star Wars, and that that's on the tier. And I I've I've seen quite a bit of Star Trek, although I wouldn't say mm. I'm like interested in it. I think. Star Star Trek is on the same tier as Lord of the Rings, and I think if I watched Lord of the Rings, I would I would go down a tier. Star Wars is way more normy than Lord of the Rings, <laughs> so I think I think I, I'm I'm helping myself by not having watched it. Yeah, speaking of Star Wars, I've I've seen the originals, but I haven't seen any of the 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 uh, Disney Star Wars films though. I've I've watched Rogue One and Force Awakens, and I remember at the time saying the Force Awakens is really bad, and then I was completely mocked for it. And now it seems that everyone has done a a three. No, that <laughs> fuck <laughs> fuck three sixty. Yeah, just a C. Uh, everyone's done a one eighty, and now says, "Oh yeah, it is bad. It is just a, a rehash of of a new hope, which it, it is. It's it does nothing new. We are we are breaking we are breaking ground uh, ground here by you reviewing a film from like two thousand eighteen. Two thousand eighteen. It was like two thousand fourteen. Yeah, what was it? Jesus Christ. Okay, fuck me then. Um, one thing that we do both agree on though, um, Marvel films, the the worst, right? I wouldn't say they're the worst, but they're not good. Oh, no God. one's going into a Marvel film looking. Well, you shouldn't be going into a Marvel film looking for you know great media. Yeah, they are. They're pretty much just like chocolate bars. They're not good for you. They don't sustain you, but they give you a little bit of dopamine. Yeah. The the, uh... the the way I describe Marvel films is that you know how people describe um, I don't know like them remaking. You know, old school Disney films like uh, I don't know, uh, The Little Mermaid, and they remake it, and then people get mad about it, and they're like, "Well, it's a baby, it's a baby movie, it's a baby film." <laughs> I think that Marvel films, and sorry if people are Marvel films here, but I can't fucking stand them. If people are Marvel films. <laughs> yeah, did I say that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, <laughs> fucking car crash. Um, Bite size is not drank, by the way. No, I'm not. I'm drinking um, a juicy water, raspberries and black currant. It's a fruit drink, and it's got no sugar in it, by the way. And um, so, if you if if you do like Marvel films, uh, no no uh, no hard feelings. But I call them uh, man baby films or man children because it's it's because it's man children who watch them. No offense. 
I I don't have any particular dislike of them. I I do think they are just kind of. I was gonna say something really. I probably didn't even make sense. I'm I'm a bit hazy now. I was gonna say it's kind of consumerism at its peak. It's kind of just mass produced. It's just very yeah. simple. It's just like blue screen bullshit. Yeah. I like practical effects. I like uh, I like uh, claymation, like uh, Waltz and Gromit and stuff like that. I love the practical effects and stuff like that. But green screen shit, I can't stand. It's um, also gone down in quality for some reason, which is really weird. Um, I heard somewhere that they're like sorry. outsourcing it to like Indian companies, but I don't know if that's real. Oh fuck! You just reminded me of Uncut Gems. Oh, uncut. that was an overrated film. <laughs> oh my god, that was uh, that. I, I it came out a similar time as Joker. Yeah, and I watched Joker and I was like, yeah, that was actually surprisingly good. I'm 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 happy with that. And then people, when Uncut Gems came out, people were like this this is so much better than Joker. This this is this is a masterpiece. And it's shit except for five minutes at the end. Mm. And it's, I can't believe people said that's, did it come out in 2020? I can't believe people said that's one of the best films of 2020. Yeah, it wasn't very good. That was fucking bad. You know what I think we should do? Me and you, we star in Uncut Cox and we make it better. How's that sound? (laughs) I don't know how to continue with that. (laughs) Great question. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but uh, we have to we... stop people from buying them off. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Good Christ. Back to back to things you hate because I have a big list here. Um, do you hate sports? No, I like I really like football. That's um, so weird to me. I was also a decent athlete for my school. No, uh, I'll say, not that many people were very athletic in my school. <laughs> so I was like one of the. <laughs> best athletes even though i was just like this fucking i was pot belly pete mm. but i could i could run fast so i was, I was the, 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 the one of the school's best competitors did, like uh, events. did you have the the makings of a varsity athlete i don't have no idea what that means <laughs> it's, a, it's a sopranos reference yeah i've never <laughs> i'd never watched anything <laughs> oh fuck all right so you what like football what else do you like it's so fucking weird that you like football, though. It's so strange. It's about it. I'm it's... also re- weird when it comes to football because I don't even support a team. Yeah. I just like watching football. Yeah. So I, I, um, I think the, f- I guess you wouldn't call it a sport, but wrestling. Did you watch wrestling? Uh, the '90s stuff. I did. Yeah, yeah. And the Attitude Era. With I don't, yeah, I don't watch that shit anymore. Man drama, but um, lots of Josh fans watch wrestling. Have you noticed that? I personally don't pay attention to oh, Jesus Christ. It's so weird. Like the majority of people who are Josh fans like watch wrestling and there's like rest they or they've watched used to watch wrestling. It's so fucking strange. That's a weird little common trait I found in like Josh fans. Um, I think there's quite a few weird traits between them. I think I think I'm quite of a anomaly when it comes to people who watch Gobes. I don't feel too close to, well because a lot of the people who watch cobes kind of see similarities to him i think uh let's name drop seizure because i'm autistic and have watched i've watched all of his podcasts multiple times name drop um he uh he taught said that he sort found that a lot of people watch codes because the similarities between them mm. like the there were used to be goth smokers have maybe alcohol problems I don't really have any of those. I just that, think it's that's fair. I think, yeah, I hate I hate sports here, but oh, sorry, um, I burped. You just farted, by the way. No, I, 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 I uh, oh, that reminds me. Before we um, a little segue. Let me let me show you something. Can you? This will be a vision. Uh, well, this will be an audio bit. But hold on, let me pull it up. Well, right, if I, it's a video, couldn't you just bring it up? In the editing shit. No, no, no. I want you to. I want you to explain. Hold on a second. Okay. Can we can we show them afterwards, or is it just going to be a? a uh, they only need the audio. Can okay. you? Okay. You, all right. Listen. Can you listen to this? Ah. Uh, okay, are you ready? Yep. The 
pull a babe, just quickly wipe that shit on your clothes. Yeah, <laughs> just rub it on my shirt. Use, oh yeah, I can use code King Cobra, of course. Yeah, but what's that? Twenty percent off the order? Oh shit! I just farted. The order? How? Would, how oh shit! I just farted. How did you? How did you have that on hand? <laughs> that is insane. So, what Bite Size just showed is a video on my second channel, the Greasy Wizard, um, of a clip someone had made of my stream uh, ed who uh it, it was it was during one of my streams we were talking and i was playing lego star wars complete saga and i think i might have just been tired because i fired and then i announced it uh <laughs> you can you can barely hear it pop up on the stream uh it if you watch the actual video it, it's subtitled but from only hearing the audio you wouldn't know uh, I don't know why I mentioned it, but it, it ended up being a, a decent clip. Uh, so you can you can go and watch it when you like, I guess. Uh, the plug by its eyes. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> and then and then I, I was just gonna like uh, close off this sports talk. Um, by um, a lot of people find this really weird, but I watch baseball, American baseball, and people think that's really weird. Oh uh, yeah, I was gonna bring that up because I, I I thought you'd. You hadn't mentioned it earlier. Yeah, God. Yeah, I, I don't get baseball personally. I don't yeah. get a lot of American sport. I was, I was watching the Champions League final with a couple of Americans. Mm. Uh, if they're, if they're listening, they'll know who they are. Uh, and they got one of them got annoyed at the fact that the the scores were so low, and it's just because we don't have like arbitrary scoring systems. Mm. Like, it's just. If you get it in the net, it's a goal. Back of the it's net. Very simple. <laughs> is that an Alan? Was that Alan Partridge? <laughs> or... <laughs> it may be. Oh no, he 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 went twat. <laughs> That's not Alan Partridge. Yeah. Not yeah. related to the conversation. Yeah. No, no, I, not not really yeah. at all. But yeah, I, I, I watch I watch baseball, but I don't have a I don't have a. I like, watch it, baseball, but. <laughs> I watch baseball, but I said but you fuck. Oh. That's that sounded like bad. <laughs> no, I watch baseball, but I, I like I you with football. Baseball, but... <laughs> boop, 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 boop. All right, fuck it up. Let me finish. God. Okay. <laughs> um, like you with football, I don't have a team, so I just watch. I just watch it because I like it. So shout out to have... shout out to Harry Boothall for, uh, for for teaching me about baseball a couple of years ago. Do you have a team you're against? Uh, I don't like. The Yankees. Um, I All don't. Yankees. I, mostly because of like fan bases. You'll notice that like Mets and and Yankees fans are God. They're they're so entitled to win every single game, and then they lose, and they they always make a stink about it and accuse people of cheating and shit like that. It's but when they get beat by a really bad team, like you know who's who are losing you know the bottom of the bottom of the the rankings and they get beat they beat the yankees it's it's fucking hilarious because you have like a a team like the a's the oakland a's who have like a payroll of like four hundred thousand dollars to you know to pay their players and then you have the yankees it's just like 300 million <laughs> you get beat by that it's just embarrassing a uh, back back to um things you don't the like future. but yeah and 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 your favorite film the future the of the but and and the Martian, yeah. Um, you don't like feet? No, I think <laughs> that's the normal human stance. <laughs> so you, you can't you can't bring this up as if it's like an anomaly. So no, like, okay. I I don't. I'm not sexually attracted to feet. Uh, I think they are used for walking, and I think that's how they should stay. So you wouldn't want like a big titty golf girl to step on your face? No, I'd oh. like to see a tits. I think, but oh, well, really? Nothing, nothing with the feet. You want to see a tits? What the fuck? Yeah. Are you feeling okay? What is this bit? You know, I'm not. I'm not like <laughs> pissed. I'm. I'm. <laughs> I'm pretty coherent, man. Yeah, I've only <laughs> drank a quarter of the bottle. I'm fine. <laughs> All right. I'm just checking. A big t you want to see a big T golf girl's tits. You know, all right. Yeah, all right. I wouldn't be against that. All right, okay. I so think that'd be pretty cool. Not her feet, though. 
No. All right. Okay. And then um, here's a, here's another controversial one that a lot of people will uh, change their mind about you. You don't like anime. Yeah. Uh, I I think I don't re- I don't I feel like I don't really need to explain that one. I don't watch stuff anyway. So why would I watch a Japanese cartoon uh, about like some weird children looking five hundred year olds and I don't know a, a really strong warrior who fights across different planets. Yeah, it's not, it's not for me. I don't watch stuff, and if I did, that wouldn't be what I'd first go to. I'd probably go for shows that are a bit more grounded. Oh, okay. So you don't watch hentai then? No. Uh, if if I want to see if I if I want to see uh, stuff of an adult nature, I I want to watch it with a real woman. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, one last little uh, hate for you. You hate citrus fruit that is true i don't like sour stuff really there was uh, uh, there was a, a time when i went to the pub recently and I, I had a tequila shot and my friend had got us both limes and i was like mate i'll I'll be just all right with the shot and he was like no no trust me that the you, you'll need the lime so i did the shot and i was like yeah i'm fine and then he was like no take the lime I put it in my mouth and it was fucking awful. I hate citrus. <laughs> I really do. Yeah. I, it just doesn't add anything to me. It also gives me heartburn if I drink like orange juice. Mm. It's weird. That's fair. So yeah, that, 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 there's your hates. I think there's. I think there's a lot. There's a lot there to cover. I just know, hate I think... gin. Gin. I don't mind gin. No, I don't like it. I drink most stuff, but not. Uh, I don't like gin. What about what? Have you tried white claws or anything like that? The li- no, like a... I haven't actually. Oh, okay. Would you like a fruity girl drink? Uh, I can't drink cider. It makes me vomit. Oh uh, yeah, cider is disgusting. I don't blame you. It's like vinegar. No, like... it's it's just too sweet. I can't have anything if it's too sweet. Like alcohol, it's too. It just I don't know why it, it has like a chemical reaction in my body, and it's like oh, get it out. Um. All right. Uh well I guess we should wrap this up so what what are you working like on knob. what are, yeah like wrap it up like a, a wrapping paper on a cock so what are you working on right now Grace uh it's a a video mm-hmm. on a video game reviewer that yeah. many of you probably won't know about and also isn't one of my normal videos it's going to be a bit different. Uh, because there isn't really much of the actual person remaining on the internet. Okay. So it, it's kind of just more of a, um, here's this funny guy, here's me laughing at him. Uh, here, you'll probably laugh at him too. Okay. Kind of a, a very brief introduction. Wink, wink. No one's going to get that. Wink, wink. Yeah, no one's going to get it. Okay. Uh, I... I'm working on the monthly recap, obviously, for this month. Um, there's nothing going on, so look forward to that. Um, <laughs> and then I, that one up. I've, I'm also working on part four of uh, you know the Josh uh, video series I'm working on, which I sort of started on, but that's going to take a couple of. That's going to take a little bit, but um, yeah, I'm doing stuff. Should we just let this go on for like 20 more minutes, where we just continue talking, but pretend we just wrapped it up there? So, but people start heading off, and then we just keep talking. <laughs> and then um, something that we both do, and not a lot of people know, this is not, this is true, by the way. We, um, with our foreskins, we pull them open and we pour tea into it, and then we um, we drink it. Just yeah, so. it helps keeps it warm because yeah, um, yeah. the thing about the foreskin, it's an it's an insulator yeah. uh, because otherwise your your penis kind of goes a bit frailer. So if you're circumcised, you may have noticed that it gets a bit frigid sometimes. Yeah. And that's because you are just a bit inferior. So exactly. apologies. Yeah. And then before I go, I wanted to show you one little thing before we go and see what you think. Is it showing? Wow, what is this? Yeah. Oh. Okay, it's not popping off. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Okay, I'm going to have to edit this out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the fart one works, but this one doesn't. Fuck. I can't believe you got that one up so fast as well. That was yeah, thanks, mate. Mental. I, was, I was fucking. They call me. Um, Barbie. Yeah, uh, they call me. Uh, and it's huffing of three. 
Fast Clips, Fast Clips McGraw. That's what they call me. McGrawing. Yeah, so that bit didn't work. So um, yeah, you can if you, you want. If you biffed it, you yeah, I biffed it. Sorry, guys, but um, you can you can listen to us if you don't want to listen to us on YouTube. You can listen to us on Spreaker. Uh, yeah, Spreaker dot com. We are officially sponsored by Spreaker. Yeah, uh, Spreaker is the place to be. Yeah, for, so uh, this podcast in general. Uh, especially the Bite Size Grease podcast. Uh, we mm-hmm. love Spreaker. It is uh, officially our new home. Yeah. We love uh, Spreaker. It's definitely <laughs> not a shithole. Yeah, so maybe maybe next episode we can do a little review of like what's on Spreaker so people can, you know... Yeah, themselves. we need to really hype up Spreaker because we're getting, yeah. we're getting big money from Spreaker. Like, yeah. we, we were positioned to buy Spreaker. We we're their um ace in the hole for content. Yeah, we're gonna make we're gonna we're making big money. They're making big money. It's a great agreement. W- wouldn't it be <laughs> to our friends and speaker by watching our podcast? It would be fucking hilarious that people download it and we get on the front page and we've only done like a couple of episodes. And I feel bad when I go onto these podcast websites and you see like a podcast has like 200 episodes and they have like five views on it and you're like fucking hell like you you would have thought like you'd be looking at the you know the analytics of the of the podcast and being like there's like five people watching it why the fuck are we still doing this we're doing the actual like podcast saying it by the way like the the two white guys doing a podcast oh yeah we, we've got it i hate i hate podcasts myself by the way guys <laughs> Um, Jesus Christ! I think but they're doing a waste one, you ta- fucking asshole. Watching some Spreaker, but I hate podcasts. <laughs> okay, that's that's bad. Okay, watching some Spreaker. <laughs> fucking Spreaker. <laughs> we love Spreaker. Yeah, you, and- at, at this point, can you actually like just put like uh, a love heart and Spreaker with the Lego Man? Yes, Thank you. I will do. Yeah, so. All right, okay then. So get us to the top of Spreaker, please. Yeah, we need to be top on comedy on Spreaker, next to the likes of Raw Talk. And... What was the What was the one you showed me the other day? Oh, Is it in our chat? Um, oh, some of them. Oh, really... <laughs> the sexually frustrated black girl podcast. Yes. <laughs> God, I wish I wish we could compete with that. <laughs> we've got a fierce competition on this competitive website but i yeah. think with the with the great power of of you guys our dearly beloved viewers we can we can make it to the top of spreaker and we can we can we can we can be <laughs> we can make it our kingdom are you fucking kidding me dude there's a podcast and and we can end on this by the way um it's called Who's That Pokemon? Uh, working their way through the Pokedex in numerical order, two comedians debate the nuances of every single Pokemon. New episodes every Tuesday. That is fucking ridiculous. How, yeah. how long are the episodes? Okay, so the episodes are an hour long. Fucking hell. How can you talk about Starmander for an hour? <laughs> and they're obviously not comedians. They're just two fucking dweebs like us and going like, "Well, did you know that Char- if Charmander's tail go out, he he dies?" Yeah. And this is a silly thing for a, a Pokemon because <laughs> Pokemon can't die. If you play the games, they just faint. So yeah. it's a silly concept for a Pokemon. The the top ten hottest girls in Pokemon. Number one. I can't believe Misty. we didn't mention Guptill throughout this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking hell. Shout out to Guptill. Uh, th- does Misty have three locks of hair? Yeah, f- yeah, three locks of hair, and she's the size of an of a of a regular human human mom or something. She's, he- she, she's not even the size of a regular human mother either. She's like eleven. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So yeah. That's all by the way. Uh, uh, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm going on their Twitter now, right? And the one of the comedians on here, and I use that term loosely, he has a thousand followers on you on uh, Twitter. I just want to say that's like four times the amount I do, dude. Oh my fucking god, he's a wrestler as well. 
Oh, oh my god, it's all god. full circle. Yeah, fucking hell. See these this is all planned. The callbacks are perfect. Okay, they have this a pa- is... they have a Patreon. Yeah. Oh my god, they have 18 patrons and they've hidden how much money they make a month. Well how do they have like different tiers? Uh yes. So oh, okay. So there's a four pound fifty a month tier. Um you get um you get to participate in the Q and A's with the hosts. Have your voice heard in the polls, um, and then you get to um, have the opportunity to commission original monster drawings. Um, oh my god! Uh, so there is a tier two is uh, four hundred and twenty three pounds and fifty pence a month, uh, and it says Wait, you say four hundred fifty two four hundred and twenty three pounds fifty pence, and I'm not even joking. Uh, it says you are our new you our sorry fucking hell, let me redo that. We you are our, you, <laughs> you our new you are our new god. Fucking hell, I'm autistic. It's almost as bad as me doing my please, voice. Please don't cut yeah. this out. Oh, when fuck. you just keep fucking up. Yeah, Jesus. guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak over bite size. So hopefully he doesn't cut this out. He keeps fucking up on this okay. this little. He's just trying to read. <laughs> I just want to preface again that. Bite size has not drunk a single thing. Yes, I have. Um, it says, We will do anything to serve you, O Mighty One. We will record a five hour episode on whatever you want. Oh my God. Right. So obviously, no one's picked that one, but obviously, they, they get £81 per month. They, they, ba- they, they basically is, get 80 quid a month. Yeah. That, that is way too much for describing what a Pokemon is. And making shit jokes. Yes. How many episodes have they done? So they have done 153 episodes. <laughs> oh my god, they've only just done Gen 1. That is insane. So are they they're gonna be our, our ongoing bit. We we just we keep up with the, the guys <laughs> oh, no. Pokemon <laughs> discuss a Pokemon for an hour. <laughs> what a waste of time. <laughs> this is why I hate podcasts. <laughs> So, like, not only a day waste in their time, an hour of their time collectively. So that's two hours yes. fucking talking about a singular Pokemon. Yeah. There's people who decide to watch it, and let's say they get like five views <laughs> per fucking episode. That means that's seven hours per fucking episode. And what's seven times 153? A thousand seventy one hours collectively wasted on fucking stupid pokemon that they're just trying to make shit jokes about i Uh, wonder if they get sponsors imagine if they get they're getting sponsored oh my god please don't say that (laughs) do you know do you know what we should do we should take their idea and start doing it and call it like uh who's this pokemon (laughs) who's that pokemon (laughs) who oh the the pokemon which one is that like we just like completely rip them off (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but we would get so many like so many much well oh, jesus christ we would get so much more views than they would oh yeah, yeah. D- d- don't don't rush your head this this might fucking crash and burn there's gonna be two people watching this dude because <laughs> we're not talking about pokemon wait we could do G- digimon oh yeah we could do digimon didn't we or Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> just talk about dark magician and yeah. Nip, nip, we have to do it <laughs> an hour per part of yeah. Zodia <laughs> <laughs> number five man eater bug <laughs> <laughs> just talk about the left arm of Exodia <laughs> that is uh, fucking insane Yeah, I re- I re- we have to actually watch an episode of the podcast I don't know how they're spending an hour talking oh. about fucking one Pokemon that's amazing. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll do that for the next one. So if you guys want to, you guys want to hear that, then let us know. But uh, this has been episode one. Thanks so much, Grace, for doing. Wait, this. you've like, not. What? We've what? we've you fucked it up. We need what? to like talk about our channels. Oh yeah. So sub- subscribe to my channel. It's the Grease Wizard. Um, I post videos on lol cows, and then you can plug yours well. Uh, you forgot to mention the Twitter and the second channel, dude. Oh yeah, so the greasier wizard, where I post uh, recaps on my streams, autistic ones of uh, Lego. Yeah, and and at the greasiest wizard on Twitter. And the greasiest wizard on Twitter, where I DM and big booty 
uh, goth chicks to try and get tit pics, but it never happens. I don't know why I just plug my Twitter. I don't post. <laughs> oh, okay. Then. And and also subscribe to Bite Size Cobra Vids. Which wait, are we? Are you posting it on that this channel? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So the video you're watching right now, just <laughs> press the subscribe button down, yeah. down below. Below. <laughs> what about what about the secret video? The annotations are gone. We can't do that no more. Oh, fuck. They've been gone since like 2007, dude. Secret video. That's what fucking, um, what's his face did? Um, who's that? Oh, uh, Philip DeFranco. You just been filled in. And then if you scroll down, he has a secret video and you click on it and it's like just a viral video. You should say that in porn. Yeah. You should do a cream buy video. And... Yeah. <laughs> I'm Philip DeFranco and you just been filled in. Okay. So that was good. So th- yeah, thanks, thanks, Greece, and um, hopefully we c- we can do more. Hopefully that you you enjoyed this. I know you don't like podcasts, but this one this one will be good. It's gonna crash and burn. I think you should drink more when you when we do these. This like every single time. Are we done? By the way, yeah, we're done now. <laughs> okay. So so thanks thanks for coming, guys. Thanks you stuck it to the end. Um, you do you want to give him a little tidbit at the end? Um, I'm not an alcoholic, despite bite sizes. Uh, push to make me drink more. Yeah. Uh, I drink very rarely, actually. Um, mm. if anyone wants to go for a drink and you live in York, though, g- give me a heads up. Wink, wink. Bite size. That's a joke on you, fool. I don't. I don't get it. Uh, you you thought I lived in York? Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll cut that. You out. can cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that that this has been the the bite size and grease podcast episode one. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, Lois, subscribe to us on Spreaker. No, that was that cut that out. Cut no, that.